Mr. Woodson, I wanted to ask you about that PLA. You indicate that the PLA that has become a part of this process is a word-for-word regurgitation of something that was written by a labor attorney. Do you want to expand on that? Yes. The PLA, to impose a PLA in the first instance, there has to be a rational basis for doing it. You just can't do it because it's a good idea or because you got up on the left side of the bed one morning or the right side. There has to be a rational basis for it. And that rational basis is articulated in an economic impact statement. The economic impact statement that is presented as being a fair and impartial statement was appended to the administration's transmission to you last Monday. And in that transmission is a memo from this California lawyer. It's appended to my testimony. This transmission, this document, is a word-for-word recitation of a memo prepared by the Trade Union Guild attorney right here in D.C. So at the first instance, we didn't have to go to California to get the document. We had somebody write it right here in town. But it is presented to us as a legal, as the factual rationale, which would give a legal basis for the approval and adoption of a PLA. Now I have to ask two questions. I have to ask them again. One, where is the fairness and impartiality about that? Where is that? I mean, if I needed to have that done and I were in your position vis-à-vis the government, I would have asked an independent third party. I certainly wouldn't have asked the union lawyer from California to write it. And I wouldn't have asked that person to plagiarize the document from another lawyer who's here in town. 